There were 13 films released in the 2010s that I feel are worthy of being on a best of the decade list, and here they are. The 13 films released from the 2010s that were about as close to perfect as I could imagine a film to be. Number 13 is Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Despite being a film that handles some very divisive, controversial political material, what Martin McDonough has done here is craft such an accessible and surprisingly enjoyable dark comedy and compelling character study. This is a film that's just as funny as it is both poignant and well-crafted. The characters are memorable, the film's set pieces are stark, the performances are all exceptional. This is overall just a fantastic piece of filmmaking from top to bottom. Number 12 is Mission Impossible Fallout one of the greatest action films and spy films ever made. It really is a miracle just how much writer and director Christopher McQuarrie and the Mission Impossible franchise are a match made in heaven. The action is stunning, including one of the very best action climaxes in the history of cinema. The stunt work is amazing, and the film's plot avoids the pitfall of other spy films by not making the plot too convoluted. More than just a treat for fans of action films, this is an almost euphoric experience. Number 11 is Spotlight. Acting is both a tribute to the pre-internet old-fashioned style of journalism and as a cautionary tale about the dangers of blindly accepting what you're told, Spotlight is a film that takes an incredibly difficult subject matter to talk about and makes it surprisingly palatable, but without feeling insulting. The drama is compelling, the script moves at a lightning fast pace, the acting ensemble is incredible, and the film treats this horrific situation with the weight and dignity that it deserves, without becoming overwrought. Spotlight was the best Best Picture winner of the decade, and in my opinion is the best investigative journalist film ever made. Number 10 is Hacksaw Ridge, one of the best war films ever made. Hacksaw Ridge is one part human drama about the struggles of staying true to one's beliefs in the midst of terrible circumstances, and one part war film which features some of the most harrowing battle sequences since Saving Private Ryan. The performances are all excellent, especially from Andrew Garfield, and the direction by Mel Gibson is outstanding. It's not the cheeriest film in the world, but this is a compelling film and one of the best films about faith ever made. Number 9 is The Writer. Probably the only film on this list that you might not have heard of. The Writer tells the true story of a rodeo star whose career was cut short by a devastating accident that almost killed him, and in this film we follow him as he attempts to make sense of his new purpose and outlook on life following the incident. What's perhaps most daring about this film was that director Chloe Zhao opted to have the real-life people portray themselves in this film, which not only gives it an authenticity, but also provides an extra level of intrigue as the film at times feels so much like a documentary, like we're actually peering into the lives of a relatively normal family and the close-knit community they live in, and creating a real sense of intimacy. It was a huge gamble that really paid off. There's both a softness and a roughness to this film and the two complement each other really well rather than clashing. This film really didn't get the attention that it deserved, but it is truly a remarkable motion picture that you should experience as soon as you can. Number 8 is Silence, which is probably the hardest film on this list to recommend or to re-watch because this is one of the most emotionally draining and yet still captivating movie experiences you'll ever witness. One of the best films ever made about persecution as well as an excellent think piece deconstructing martyrdom. While I won't be revisiting this one a lot, it's sheer mastery in terms of directing, acting, and thought-provoking drama cannot be ignored and is a film that has really stuck with me. Number 7 is Hugo. Martin Scorsese managed to direct two of my absolute favorite films this decade, and this one just barely edges out silence as my favorite. Hugo is one of the most earnest, powerful, and charming tributes to cinema as a whole that I can think of. The manner in which this film manages to capture the emotion and power that film has is truly remarkable and a sight to behold. Even taking that element out of it, this is an exciting, visually compelling, and deeply entertaining children's adventure film that works on a surface level as well as subtextual. Also, if for some reason you ever get the chance to watch this in 3D, please do so because this was the best usage of 3D I've ever seen in a film. Number 6 is Inception. Only Christopher Nolan could have told such a cerebral, multi-layered plot in such a masterful and entertaining way. From every standpoint, this film is a marvel, from its stunning, inventive visuals, 
incredible action choreography, to its exceptionally smart ideas and concepts, its intelligent script that manages to stay consistent, and its tight pacing, Inception is one of the most exhilarating films ever made and one of the finest examples of a high concept premise being taken to its fullest advantage. Number 5 is Your Name. This film is just magical. I love the characters, I love the premise, I love the atmosphere, I love the animation. This is just one of the most easily lovable films I've ever seen. Seamlessly entertaining, Your Name mixes the old-fashioned mysticism of Eastern philosophy and urban Japan absolutely perfectly, and the result is a film that's equal parts charming, sweet, majestic, and entertaining. Number 4 is Inside Out. This is Pixar's best film and is a truly stunning piece of work. I mean, going into this the first time, I was expecting this to be a little emotional, but holy crap, I was not prepared for the emotional roller coaster this film took me on. This film is also so intelligent at conveying extremely complex ideas in simple but not dumbed down ways. The animation, as one would expect from Pixar, is top notch, the voice acting is completely on point. The writing is clever, the score is beautiful, and the climax is just breathtaking. Striking the perfect balance between entertainment and poignancy can be a difficult balancing act, but this film pulls it off like it's not even trying. Bravo Pixar, bravo. Number 3 is Whiplash. Mentor and student films have been made before, but never like this. In many respects, this feels like a deconstruction of being willing to do whatever it takes to be the best and how dangerous a blind determination can really be. It really does illustrate just how far some people are willing to go and how much they're willing to sacrifice in order to be considered one of the greats and to be remembered after they're gone. This is a film that's just as fascinating as it is entertaining, with excellent, career-defining performances from both J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller, some of the best editing I've ever seen in a film, and commanding direction by Damien Chazelle. It's earned its status as a modern-day classic. Number two is Room. Taking such a dark and terrifying circumstance and turning it on its head by telling it from a unique point of view was a stroke of genius from author and screenwriter Emma Donahue. Thanks to its incredible script, as well as the steady, careful directing by Lenny Abrahamson, Room is able to hit precisely every emotion that it should without ever feeling overbearing or trite. Instead, the drama here is just so palpable. Add on top of that two outstanding performances from both Jacob Tremblay and Brie Larson at the center, and you have a recipe for one truly unforgettable experience. And number one is The Lighthouse. I know it's tacky to put this film, given that it's just come out a few months ago, as the best film of the entire decade, but I just can't help it. I really do think this is the best film of the 2010s, and it even managed to work its way into my top 10 favorite films of all time. The Lighthouse is one of the most unique films that I've ever experienced in my life. It combines both the old-fashioned with the new seamlessly. The film script is so perfectly constructed that it leads to not just a handful of different interpretations, but dozens. It's funny. It's terrifying. The performances from Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe are amazing. The set design is exceptional. The imagery is outstanding. Everything about this film is just perfect. And it's a film that I'll probably find myself revisiting over and over again. And that's it. Those are my favorite films of the 2010s, at least as of the end of the decade. Were there any that I missed? What are some of your favorite films of this decade? Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.